So what are you saying? What I'm saying is, we don't need guns. We just go there and shout, everybody lie down. Look at how those people robots with everybody lie down. Whether you have gun or not, if you just shout, everybody lie down, people will lie down. That's true. See? Me, I have your uniform. Hmm? I have one cover all like that, that I can just wear. Wear cap, cover our mouth. Hey! Hmm? Uncle Mark, you people want to go and rob. Rob, eh? Rob! I think you have seen now. Yeah, I see you now. Whoa, 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 he's talking here, Rob. Yeah, now. Oh, God. Do you see us with gun? Eh? It's not a uh, gun that Andrew Bass used to carry. Nonsense. Say this one here, yeah, I have keep face like mango that have no ripe. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> see, see, Gabriel, anyway, we shout everybody like that. They will think we have gun. Don't worry. This business will work. We'll just be doing like Mopo. Doing like Mopo. Just be jumping like this. See, don't worry. You will say we will make money. Be doing like what? Be doing like what? Everybody lie down, lie down! Everybody lie down! Everybody lie down, lie down! Come on, lie down, come on, lie down! 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 Come on, This wig is smelling. <laughs> 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 Everybody lie down! Everybody lie down! Give me your chin! You're mad! I say you're mad! Nonsense! Okay, this one you're running yash yash! What if they push us? They're just running like woman! I can't believe it! Everybody lie down! Everybody lie down! Everybody lie down! No, 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 We should lie down and do what? Anything you want to do. <laughs> Just lie down and... Lie down and do what? Hey! Mark, talk now. Just lie down and worship God. <laughs> yes. Lie down and worship. Lie down and worship. Lie down and worship. Lie down and worship. Jesus of the Lord. Lie down and worship. Lie down, I worship. <laughs> Lie down, I worship. One of our clothes. I want more. It's like a woman, I just want. Keep going. Hmm? Why are you 
you not dressed up? Dress up for what? Ha! For church now? Don't you know today is Sunday? Ha! After party last night, you want me to go to church today? And I'm tired now, I need to go and rest. Can you just hear yourself? Eh, I'm tired now, I want to go and rest. But if I say let us go for another party now, you will accept. Please go inside and go and dress up. See, I, I, I'm tired, I wanted to rest. I didn't sleep last night. Oh, me did I sleep? Yeah, bro, you better start taking the things of God very serious. Eh? You better start taking things of God very serious, so go inside and dress up, let us go to church, I beg. See? After offering, I'm coming back. Yes, go inside and dress up, let us go to church. I'm waiting for you. Go, 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 I beg. Ha! You just stay and you not take things of God very serious. I can't find my shoe! Oh! Just wear anything and come out! Wear anything and come out! Or just take your palms and wear! Okay, oh, if you say so. This church said that you're even rushing us to. I just not one girl that is making you want to go to church today. Okay, Brown. Ha-ha. Is it every time woman, 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 woman? Even in the house of God? Ha-ha. Please let us go to church, Joe. See, you better start take, 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 taking this God very serious. I have told you. Just, just look at how I'm dressed. Look at you, you didn't even talk in. Is this how you're supposed to appear? Hey, leave it, I was talking before I enter the church. Hallelujah. Amen. This is our season of testimony. And I'm so convinced in my spirit that the Lord is out to bless someone today. And so shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Brethren, I want to encourage you. We are in a season where the power of God is moving mightily. But the question is, do you have the heart to receive from him? The widow, according to the story Jesus told in the Bible, gave just a mite. It wasn't the biggest offering, but she gave all she had with a cheerful heart. It is with such cheerful heart that you can draw from the well of salvation. And I am so convinced that God will surely meet you at the point of your need. Don't come to the presence of God without an expectation. For the expectations of the righteous shall not be cut short. The Bible says so. So if you have an expectation in your heart, you will draw from him. You will receive from him. He is ever ready to meet your needs. I want to encourage you that as long as you're here, you would go with your own testimony. Just have that in mind. There is a testimony for you because this is our season of prosperity. Amen. Right on yes, sir. And I declare to you today that whatever has cost you tears, your happiness and your celebration <laughs> has come. Amen. Amen. Can I get a bigger amen? Amen. Now listen, the Bible said it's more profitable to give than to ask. This is the season of prosperity, but you must do the needful. A widow gave just a mite, and she was recognized in the Bible as a giver. Excuse me, sir. Stop sleeping. I'm not sleeping. <laughs> Brethren, the Bible said in the book of Revelations, chapter 12, verse 11, And we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Listen to me, you're living here with a testimony today. Amen! Now, can you look at the person sitting next to you and tell him or her and say, Neighbor, Neighbor. this is my season of this testimony. Is my season of testimony. And so shall it be. Amen! Brethren, in this season of testimony, I want you to understand something. You can only receive from the Spirit as much as you can give by faith. Your faith is the only currency you need to make exchange in the spirit realm. It's just like buying and selling. You release faith to receive blessings. The amount of faith you have (laughs) is directly equivalent to how much you believe in God. And the Bible said that even if your faith is as small as a mustard seed, you can speak to the mountains. I'm (laughs) I'm meditating. The Bible said in Hebrews 11.1 that faith is the assurance of things hoped for. Yes, sir. Faith is the certainty of things not seen. Faith is you believing that God has done it. And brethren, faith is not a noun. Faith is a verb. It's a doing word. That's why it is called taking the step of faith. What is it? Why are you stopping me? Hey? And you shall remember. Ross, did you see me sleeping? In your coming and in your coming. A cheerful heart is all you need. Have you ever asked yourself, why am I still alive in a time like this? There is a purpose waiting for you. Have you ever tried to ask yourself, 
What is that purpose? What is that assignment that God has put in my hand? God wants to use you to do his will here on earth. There is this burden that God has laid in my heart for some time. Brethren, there is somebody that is going to build a house for God in this our generation. And that is you. While I was praying, God told me specifically that four persons in this service, four, just four persons, will contribute to the building of God's church. Just allow the Spirit of God to minister to you right now because we are looking at a project that is over 20 million naira. We just need four persons to build a house for God. And those four persons will bring five, five million naira each. I'm not talking about empty promises. I'm not talking about promises that will be redeemed later. No. I mean immediately after service. Because the project starts immediately. If the Lord has laid it in your heart to build a house for him, please can you be on your feet. Praise God, one person. God bless you, my brother. Five, five million naira each. Remaining three persons. God bless you, my sister. That is 10 million. Who again? God is speaking to you. We need four persons. There's remaining two persons. Who again? God is speaking to you. Build a house for God today. <laughs> oh, that's the, third, that's the third person. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. One more person to go. God is speaking to you. That is the... Please, can we put our hands together for the Lord? Thank you very much. Please, brother, can you come forward? Come forward. God bless you. Can you please come forward? Come forward, please. Come forward. Keep clapping. Put your hands together to the Lord. Be as come Be please, a round of applause for them as they come forward. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your word. I know you made the one speaking to me. The Lord cannot say a thing and it doesn't bring it to pass. Be ten is giving five million. God bless you, my brothers. God bless you, my sister. Thank you for obeying the voice of the Lord to give five five million naira each to the building of the new church cathedral. Please, if you're doing cash or if you're doing transfer, after service, go straight to the church accountant and fulfill your vows. Do you have five million naira? Five million. In fact, I speak forth into this week that you shall encounter greater testimonies. Five million. I declare your week is blessed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Please, brethren, a round of applause for them as they go back to your seats. Please put your hands together. My brother, you can go back. God bless you. Yes, you can go back to your seats. Yes. You are blessed already. You can go back. Okay? Five million. Hey! Be staying half five million there. And we're suffering like this. <laughs> Please don't be fine, don't be fine. Brethren, the Bible said it is more honorable to give than to receive. And I thank God we have givers in the house of God today. Brethren, for having answered this call, I am so convinced that more doors are opening for you. You shall remain blessed in your going out and in your coming in. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. to go to heaven now you have to put aside everything that will distract you people go to church late because they take time making up trying to use cosmetic i am not saying that looking good is bad but why at the expense of your service and worship to god 
Now look at, do you know that people take their time buying clothes, expensive clothes, buying jewelry, expensive ones, doing all manner of things. Now those things can drag you to hell if you don't know how to make best use of them. That was why the Bible said, if your right hand will make you to go to hell, you better cut it off. Are you hearing what I'm saying? All these jewelries, you buy earrings, you buy necklaces, they can distract the Christian. Do you know about that? Do you know that in our present age, what is Bible? Now, if they see someone carrying the Bible, they start mocking the person. Now, it's all about phones. Everything is digital, technology. This can lead you to hell if you get distracted. So, I want to encourage you. You don't want to go to hell, right? Now, I want you to make a decision in your heart to follow Jesus. Are you ready to give your life to Christ now? Now, lift up your hands. You're going to say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. And personal Come Savior. into my life. Come into my life. So help me God. So help me God. In Jesus' name. Amen. So I want to encourage you. Now that you've made this prayer, put away everything that will distract you. When you wake up, the first thing should be God, thank you. And then you go to the word of God. Make it a habit. Once you wake up, don't mind your phone. Don't mind any other distraction. God first. And God will be with you in all things. Okay? Welcome to the new life in Christ. Thank you. Yes, God bless you. Thank you very much. All right, peace be with you. Hello? Hello? Hello, my good day, man. Yeah, um, please. This nails that you fixed me. Yes. Can you come and help me remove it? Uh-uh. Madam, you want to remove the nails already? Yes, I don't like them again. Ah, sorry, but I cannot come today. Can I come tomorrow? Eh. Uh, <laughs> I hope rapture does not happen before <laughs> then. <laughs> ah, madam. You are very funny. Don't worry, rapture will not take place. I'm coming tomorrow, man. Okay. Mm. All right, thank you, man. Oh. Success, you want to wash? No, I want to burn it. Ha! Is that not your jewelry? Uh huh. What happened? Hmm. Eber, didn't you hear what the Bible said? Anything that will take you to hell, cut it off. So, as I cannot cut this one off, I will burn it off. Ha! I don't want to miss heaven for any reason. Ah! My success, if you don't want it, you can give it to me now. Are you not hearing what I'm saying? Look at you. After everything Bible said about trouser, you're still wearing trouser. Eh? What did the Bible say about trouser? Don't you have Bible? Read your Bible. Look at your head. You're still wearing hair. Marine spirit hair. Hair that they cut from dead bodies. That's what you're wearing. Eh, Barry, these things will drag you to hell. They will drag you to hell. But Maso says, if you don't want it, you can still give it to somebody else now. Eh, Barry, I will not be the reason why anybody will go to hell. Show to you, eh? I will not give it to anybody. I will burn it. My television, I've thrown it away. My iPhone, I've thrown it away. All these technologies that devil is using to deceive people, I've thrown it away. If you like, keep wearing all these makeups, all these things, all this worldly dressing. It will drag you to hell. Don't say I didn't tell you. But mama success, you're talking about makeup and you're still carrying your nails. Don't worry. I've got this stupid boy that fixed these devilish nails for me. He's coming to remove it, eh? I pray trumpet does not stand before he gets here. Oh, ha. oh trumpet qua. Satan, shame on to you, all oh, power belong to Jesus. Shame on to you, all oh, power belong to Jesus. <laughs> What?
what are you looking at? <laughs> Big head. <laughs> All power belong to Jesus. All power belong. Success. What are you trying to do? Mm, to eat biscuits, mommy. Did you pray over that biscuit? Mm, I pray to my mom. Eh, 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 eh. After everything I've been teaching you in this house, Success, do you want to go to hell? Now, where did you get that biscuit from? It's the change on Kokeban gave me after he sent me a message. And you cannot bring it for me to bless it. You didn't even pray over it. And you want to eat it. Come on, go and throw away that demonic biscuit. Go and throw it away. Eh, come here, come here, come here. Stand here, stand here. Hey, uh, um, my baby, yo. Success, you're wearing a ring in my house. You're wearing the devil's item on your body. Hey, Oluwa, oh. I should have told you to throw away all these things. Now, will you get inside and remove it and burn it? Who is even advising you? Uh -uh. That's how they used to initiate people. Go, 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 go. Burn them. I don't want to see them in my house. If I see that thing on your ear again, I'll cut it. Just try me and see. Hello? Hello, ma. Are you coming to remove this thing or not? Ah, sorry, ma. I'm very, very sorry, ma. Um, see, uh, before I finish what I'm doing now and start coming to your place, it might be late. And so, please, can you come to my studio? Are you sure you'll be around? If not, I'll use scissors and cut it. No, ma, please. Just come to my studio. I'll help you remove it. Those are acrylic nerves. No problem. I'm coming. I'll be on my way. All right. Thank you, ma. This one even looks like distraction. It's like I'll throw it away. <coughs> and throw inside the dustbin. I don't need it again. Make sure you throw it away inside the dustbin, no. Oh. Okay. Let me go and remove these nails. Satan, shame unto you, all power be. Sorry, ma, I will do that. In fact, off it, off it. Okay, sorry. All these devilish songs of these days. Izoma, Izoma. Eh, eh, stay there, stay there, stay there. What is uh -uh. it? Is that space not okay for uh -uh. you? Madam, what's the problem now? Eh, hey, hey, I don't ask you to talk to me or just stay that place. Please, what's your problem now? Do you know me before? Hey! How am I supposed to know you when your mouth is like people that suck blood? <laughs> Vampire. See your eyes. Like willy willy. Look at your makeup. Demonic. Look at your laps. Exposed. How will somebody see you now and marry you? Just look at a small child like you. Demonic things all over your body. Just negody. Everything. Even human hair from dead bodies. That's what you're wearing. How can you make heaven? Eh? You are eyeing me, Abby. Without your quick eye, you are eyeing me. You go to hell fire. Madam, you that is talking. Are you not putting on news? Acrylic news for that matter. Where do you think I'm going to? I'm going to the shop of the idiot that fixed this demonic thing in my hand. I just hope rapture does not take place before I get there. <laughs> Did he force you? No, he tied you up and fixed the nails on your fingers. Thank God for salvation. I gave my life to Christ yesterday and I will make heaven. If you like, don't repent. Sinner. She, I'm talking now, you're pressing phone. Uh-uh. The devil's device. Phone kwa, madam. Eh, hey now. If not, why will it distract you when I'm trying to tell you the word of God? God, eh. All these things that devil is using to deceive people. 
in the days of old, there was nothing like this. Nobody lied. Because there was nothing like this. This is a lying device. You use it to lie. You say you're here and you're not there. Technology have spoiled this world. That's why there's nothing like true Christianity again. If I ask you, do you have Bible? You tell me you have app. You have Bible app on your phone. Devil is deceiving you people. Continue. That's how many of God are buying private jet. Say it's evangelism they are doing. When Jesus was doing evangelism, was there anything like private jet? He was going door to door to do evangelism. That's true Christianity. Not now that technology is spoiling everything. All of you that are using technology, Technology. technology will kill you people. <laughs> you people will go to hell fire. It will drag you people to hell fire. You people will burn in hell. <laughs> what kind of human being is this? <laughs>